Hey there everybody, welcome back to the RC Garage. This week we're going to be assembling the Vanquish wheels for the Harley Quinn build. Before we get started with that, we need to assemble the tool for the scale hardware. That way we can install that. It's pretty simple, straightforward, easy to do. In the shaft of the tool you have a flat spot. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Yeah, a little bit right there. Well, that flat spot will go towards the set screw in the handle and that's all there is to it there's your tool you're ready to go now to install the scale hardware now the first thing i'm going to do is get all my hardware opened up put in the trays that way it's easy to get to now of course you're going to need loctite and you are putting screws in the metal so it's always a good idea to use just a little bit of loctite the first thing you do is in these outer rings, there's a set of screw holes on the inside lip. They're just for decorative screws. So go ahead and put those in first. All right, so there's two in now. As you can see, the zinc plating and the scale hex on these hardware does add a lot of depth and realism to these wheels. But I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me put in all these little bolts. I'm going to go ahead and get this inner ring done. And I'll bring you back once we start the outer ring. Alright guys. Got the first set of hex bolts in. Really does add a lot of realism to these wheels. Now we'll get to putting in all these outer ring bolts that hold on the actual beadlock ring. Same thing I recommend for any time you are installing something that has multiple screws or bolts. The first one you put in you don't tighten down hardly at all. Just enough to hold the piece in place. That way you can shift it and move it as you need so you can line up the next bolt. And once you get two in you can go ahead and snug them down a little bit but I like to leave them loose just to have that little bit of play just in case I need to just in case the tolerance of these bolt holes and the fitment isn't perfect you want that little bit of play to get those bolts to line up all right now just to give you a little idea of what it's going to look like if it'll focus all right, guys, well, I'm going to bring you back once I get all these bolts in. There's no point in you sitting here watching me screw in 50 little screws. All right, guys. There's the whole, there's the front of the wheel. Got all the hex bolts in. Everything's good and tight. Now, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to install the hub onto the back side of the wheel. That way, I have nothing in my way when I'm screwing the bolts in. You can get to the bolts with the front half of the wheel together. As you can see there, you can get to them. But with this ring being so close, it's going to be hard to get my fingers in there to line the bolts up. So I'm just going to attach the hub now. I'm going to be using Locked Up RC's Acorn studs just to add a little bit more realism to the wheels. All right, now let's see what this looks like together. There we go. And so now you have a nice, realistic looking wheel, a lot of depth. And then once I put the wheel on the vehicle, I do have a hub I'll be putting over the axle shaft so to make it just a little bit more realistic. Now we'll move on to getting the tires mounted onto it. I'll bring you back once I'm ready to do that. All right, guys, we're back. Well, I decided to go ahead and go with my tried and true Falcon Wild Peak tire. They seem to perform really well for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount these up. First step with any three-piece wheel build, you gotta 
put the clamping ring inside the tire get the bead wrapped around it make sure things good and centered me personally I don't know why but I like to put the rear ring in first always I don't know why I do that but that's just something I always do then we get the front ring get it lined up you grab one of your 440 440 bolts and I start slowly with my hand just to get it snugged up a little bit so it'll stay in place and going from and then alternating sides slowly put the bolts in now just go along and make sure the beads in place everything looks good so you start working your way around the wheel slowly tightening the bolts a little bit at a time then alternate from side to side so you get an even clamp once all these bolts are nice and tight check your bead again to make sure it's all in there good and snug it looks like it's gripping pretty well And that's it there's one wheel down we got about a hundred screws to put into the next three I ain't gonna make you guys sit here and watch all that so I'll bring you guys back show you the finished product of all four of them and show them mounted on the rig got the tires mounted to the wheels got the wheels mounted on the vehicle I did run into one small setback it seems the 440 hardware I got from locked up RC to bolt the pieces of the wheels together are a little too long for these tires now the wild peak tires are a bit narrow but I figured the bolts would be short enough but they're not they're bottoming out in the front ring before they're getting tight enough to hold the tire now the bead won't pull out but it's letting the tire spin around the wheel so I'm going to see about getting some shorter hardware and hopefully that fixes it if not then we'll have to go with a different tire but guys, that's going to be it for today. As always, if you like this video, then smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel a lot. If you're new or haven't already, then please subscribe. And join me back here every Friday for more RC fun at the RC Garage. See you guys next time.